There, okay. I should have just waited to type him. I feel like an idiot, okay? Dude, the, my hands were have gone. I'm white to blue, but I time attack. Okay, before it even has a chance to stop, I wrench the door open. Ooh, this is nice. Hello, and welcome to Cash Cab. Will you? Every night, 13,000 cabs hit the streets of the city that never sleeps. But only one of them pays you. Climb into the cash cab and I'll quiz you all the way to your destination. As the meter clicks, the questions get harder and the stakes get higher. If you get stumped, you can shout out for help on the phone or off the street. But be careful, because in the cash cab it's three strikes and you're out. So what do you say? You in? What? What, what the heck? Uh, uh, ex suit man. I am suit man. The villain of w the tailor for One Punch Man. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you going towards the business district? No, I'm heading home. Yes, actually, do you need something? I'm sure it's terribly rude of me, but would you mind if I joined you? I <laughs> that was weird. Oh my gosh, this is even weirder. No, uh, okay, thanks. Don't mention it. Least I can do. That's it. Fun, fun, okay. Why does he keep looking at me? Stop looking at me, that's weird. So what brings you out here so late? Apparently that's a cute, okay. Oh, you know, just taking care of some business. Taking care of business. Softened. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, what about you? Me, I was just grabbing a bite to eat. There's this great place down the street from where you were. Some of the best caviar in the city, if you're inclined to try it. Not a cheap meal, though. As you can tell by my expensive suit, I am rich. Your suit? Do you work in the business district? What? Man can't wear a suit without having his career questioned. He laughs. Yes, I work in the business district. Seems friendly enough, but I'm still unnerved. Okay. Leave me alone, suit man. Thanks for paying. <laughs> my pleasure, because I'm rich and you're not. Okay, now about be careful out there. You hear wait, what? That's interesting. How does he know my name? I should have asked his name. His name. And stop the key. Never just Ken. Yes. You're finally catching on, Ken. God, you're slow. Oh shit, he's gonna be working. Shit, he's working with Kojo to build that bomb thing. I think. It's all connecting. You, it, what you always said about the movie, you have to look for every cue. That name, Kojo, the beginning, it's all making sense now. Well, I guess that is over. Time for work. Hey, what's up with you? Some guy knew my name. And he was in a suit. Headed towards the business district. At night. At a place right across the street from me. He was following me. I don't know what you mean, man. You've been weird all morning. He keeps staring at everyone. You're in a bad mood or something? Something like that. It's not feeling too great. Oh. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Engine closer. Was something keeping you up? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. Don't hold on don't hold out on me, man. Something's eating at you. Spit it out already. Some guy in a black suit knew my name and most likely followed me to the bar. That's why he was sitting across at the restaurant and told me that I should go check it out sometime. Knows my name and it was right after a meeting with Kojo. It's clearly someone who will come back to bite me in the ass. Didn't drop it already. It's not important. Don't take it out on me, man. I'm saying the hand of friendship here. No need to bite it off. Okay. Whatever it is, it's clearly getting to you. I told you, I... Hey, hear me out, okay? Whatever it is, sitting here worrying about it is only going to drive you crazy. And I get wound up about stuff. Last thing I want is to be stuck here. You ever want to be here anyways? We gotta look out for each other, Ken. Man to man. Brother to brother. Come on, brother! I don't even know what we're talking about right now. I'm saying you should go and watch one of your movies or something. Get out of here and then take your mind off it. Maybe as a point. Do I have my phone back yet? Buster's up, I'll say you're taking your lunch break early. You think you never skip, so oh, believe me. I'll even come to i even come check up on you when I'm done. It is kind of tempting. You going to be okay on your own though? I'm hurt, Ken. Do you have any faith in me? No. I've turned around I've turned over a new leaf since then. I'm a new man. A better man. I'll believe it when I see it. 
So if you're sure you can handle things, I might take you up on that offer. Sure, and hey, no need to pay me back or anything. It's all good. Oh, yeah, let's, so that is a lot of favors. Thanks, take care, alright? Yeah, man, I'm telling you, you feel better as soon as you're out of here. Okay, now I'm just leaving. Hooray, freedom. Yes, yeah, I'm letting you get. Well, it should kind of get to your head. Especially if he comes back up. Whoa, Ken, easy. Aya. Uh... Geez, do you get everyone like that? A high would have been fine. Sorry, I'm kind of on edge. You couldn't. You could have fooled me. Okay, yeah, good. What are you doing out here? Looking for you, believe it or not. You worked out just down the street, right? Why does anyone know so much about me? That, it, that is really weird. Oh, okay. I got here as soon as you left. Almost had to run ca to catch up. Great. What does he want? Nothing really, but he figured you might want this back. My phone! This is your phone, yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah, it is. Why do you have it, though? I want to go to complain to... Co wow! I don't know how seriously he took me, but he asked me to bring this to you. And you agreed? Uh, yeah. So what's got you so jumpy? I don't want to have the conversation, I already dodged telling Kayu, and I'm sure I would be more judgmental. It's nothing, don't worry about it. Give me a hard look, oh my gosh. Because that was a perfectly normal reaction to someone tapping you on the shoulder. It's amazing, I don't get punched on a regular basis. Can I please just have my phone back? Finally, thanks. Don't mention it, only to walk all the way out here and nearly get assaulted for my trouble. No problem. Oh my gosh! Stop guilt tripping me! Why are you so interested anyway? Purely selfish reasons. If it's got you so worked up, it's gotta be something good, right? I'm not sure good is the word I'd use. And now I'm even more curious. Just tell her in brevity! So, while, after leaving the group meeting at night, I went to go stalk slash follow Shein, drunk with her, got two drinks of something that burned my throat, was called a cab, a guy in a black suit who was down the street knew, followed me into the suit, asked me wh asked me what I was doing, told me to look out for people, and called me by name. It's so simple. Ah, uh, come on, it's the least you can do after I brought your phone on the way here. Just tell her, some guy in a black suit who I never knew, also wearing sunglasses at night, across the street from me at a bar, knows my name. Not quieter. Sure, what about the park? Should be pretty quiet this time of day. That'll do, yeah. Okay. To the park. What the heck? Oh, I, for I keep forgetting it's like winter. And you're sure you didn't just hear him wrong? Positive. The other name is that you've got some kind of stalker. Like Kojo. I don't know, Ken. It just doesn't make sense. If it made sense, I wouldn't be worried about it. Fair point. Okay. I actually hope you're right. Huh? It's a lot more exciting if you- Wow! I don't think you're taking this seriously. What? I'm dead serious. Something interesting happens to you and all you do is complain about it. I think most people would. Not me. That's a lot of place with you in a You would want to have a stalker, really? You'd really be happy you're stuck in that store all day instead. If it meant I didn't have to keep looking over my shoulder, sure. But you'd be doing the same thing you do all the time. Doesn't that get bo- yes. A little, I guess. Exactly. Come on, Ken, you have to admit this is at least a little bit exciting. I'd, if I could be given a choice, this would be a lot more exciting. Forget it, you're a lost cause. I've heard that before. If this guy knew your name, there's no way he took the same cab by- Yes, he obviously followed me. Yeah, I'd already worked that out myself. I just a weird- I look, actually. Amazing, you really do have a stalker. What do you talk about in, in the cab, I mean? Just that I worked in the bistro's- Yeah. Huh, do you think he was telling the truth? Probably not. Maybe he was a cop. Doubtful. Think about it. who else follows people like you? What do you mean like me? Yeah, what do you- what do you mean by- Well, you're not typical stalker victim material. Where the hell would the police be following me? You tell me, how am I supposed to know what shady stuff- I mean, yeah, I do use drugs. You've got me. The truth is, I run the Yakuza, undercover as a, co a convenient store clerk. The perfect cover. He wasn't a cop. Uh, 
Uh, no, I wasn't st Okay, so he was on the right track if I was that. Yeah, I still take drugs. Alright, never mind then. That's all I've got. One suggestion. Hey, I never said I have more. Besides, he's your stalker. How come you haven't come up with anything? Can we not call him that? Stalker, what's wrong with it? It sounds so ominous. Because a creepy guy who follows you and somehow knows your name can only mean good things. Why did I ever think talking about it? Yeah, why did I think that? You know you're not helping, right? I'm not your therapist, Ken. You don't have to be a therapist to be sympathetic. I'm not your friend, either. Where's the fun in that? Okay. Okay. Qu uh, good. I don't think this is quite what Coach I admire when he asks us to get to know each other. I actually think this kind of does. Maybe talking to the others as well. I meet Kayataru on a daily basis. Only Senri. Wait, Senri, really? Well, I'm not allowed to talk to people. No, because you and Senri have huge arguments. Yeah. Yeah, that's about how well it went outside the meetings, too. Nice, I, oh my gosh. It was fun. That's probably not what Kojo meant either. Nah, still counts. Getting to know people doesn't mean we have to like them. Oh! Loopholes! Oh shit. Okay. It's not him. Are you sure? Checking watch. Ken? Huh? There you are, you blinked out on me. Well, I was looking at some guy in a black suit who could have been my stalker. You okay? Yeah, but I I have to go. Okay. If you say so. Thanks for bringing my phone. Don't match me. And let me know if you find anything else about your stalker. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I'll stop calling him by that. See you around, Ken. Okay, I'm walking. Oh my gosh. See, I haven't moved. Okay. It's gonna be a long walk. Oh, hey, I'm back. That was not so long. I might be right that he's biding his time. Okay. If, I, if someone comes at the door, then I'm going to get... Then he should get creepy about it. Wait, from the roof? Uh, okay, I think someone's just taking a shower. Okay. Tiptoe across the curb. They are really setting this up. Who's there? And then... Me, you idiot, open the door. Senri, is that you? Why don't you open your stupid door and find out? What are you doing here? Freezing my ass off because you were doing something to a face instead of letting me in. Still in one piece. Lock the door while Senri shakes the rain from her hair. Why didn't you answer the door? I was asleep. The one was with the vase. The mouth. I just like to fondle vases. Well, Perlene, why aren't you wearing a jacket? It was warm inside my house. I thought it'd be warm outside. That is bad logic. I also didn't realize I'd have to stand in the rain for three minutes because you were doing things to your vase. I wasn't doing anything with the vase. Uh-huh. Do you have a- do you have a name you like to call- Oh, wow, Sendry! No! And well, you didn't even let me- you nah. Could you have called- Yes. Should I have? Well, yeah, you don't just turn up at somebody's place without warning them. Oh. Does that mean I should go? I mean, only if you want to. Probably, but you can stay. Even though you still haven't told me what you're doing here. You told me to come the other day, but my god, I do not remember that. And Brozadon, you want to do it now. Yes! So, yeah, so you're really sh fine. I'm not doing anything important. I found I find on my fake leather chair. What? I think it's the first time anyone's used that chair. Small wonder when your place looks like this. Yup, it's complete shit. Kaitara never complained, but that's because Kaitara's a guy. Well, he should. It's disgusting. Even if it is, you don't have to say it. Why not? It's the truth. Are you here to complain about my apartment, or are we just gonna get high? There's a cup. She's there. Okay. Does does it taste okay? Depends on what. On whether you like the taste of dirt. I don't. I know, it wasn't a joke. Oh. It's freaking drugs, of co What? I thought I'd make sure you didn't die. Drinks her own. Ugh. 
dash from the bathroom sounds of running water and Oh. Alright, I'm back. That was disgusting. I warned you. Not enough. This better be worth it. Okay. Oh, that's just e-cigs. Vaping. So what happens now? Now we have to kick in. Usually I just watch TV. I see. You have a boring life. Yep, go under her f Oh, now she's vaping. Okay. Back. Okay. Hey, Ken. Yeah. What was with the face? Stop. Why are people. Gosh. Yep. What else? Oh, I guess we've got time. Okay, good. So I'm wondering if he was threatening me or something. When you knock, I just grab the closest thing that might work as a weapon. Some guy got in an auto cab with you. You had a conversation. Before he left, he called you Ken. Is that it? He was up, he was at a restaurant across the street from the bar I was at. He's clearly following me. Yeah, what do you think? Honestly, I think you're paranoid. Yep. Of all possible explanations, you decide he must have been a hired thug. What other possibilities are there? I can think of at least seven. For example, you could have read your name tag at your store. He might have been someone you used to know who remembered you. Or most likely, you told him your name and then forgot. I mean, think about it. Why would anyone be after you? You're a no-name employee at a convenience store. Gee, thanks. You make my life sound awesome. What for? Anyway, you've secretly been dealing with nuclear weapons under the counter, and I don't think you have anything to worry about. You know that works when a boss keeps the place afloat. Really? I was kidding. Thank God. Okay, oh. Anyway, even this man was after you, what could he do? He was kind of huge. Not, a, not all tall people are hitmen. I'm almost certain that sets in a girl, isn't? Almost. It's impossible to be certain about anything. How philosophical. Okay, and she giggles. That's so funny. I was thinking about Setsuna. She's so tall. Oh my gosh, she's high now. I don't get it. It's funny. Yep. Are you alright? Yep, why do you ask? I've never seen you laugh before. Really? That's not so strange, though. We only met like two weeks ago. It's wearing a Mr. Vic so out of place under that I laugh. What are you laughing at? You, you look ridiculous. I think the Ambrosia Dome's kicking in. Oh, is that it? I was wondering why everything felt so floaty. Good music choice for this as well. I'm not being sarcastic, it's just a weird one to hear with this kind of experience. Floaty? You know what I mean. Yeah, it's definitely working. You're not yourself. But then, who am I? What? Who am I if I'm not my- oh my gosh. You, it's a metaphor. Oh. I'm bad at metaphor- you're bad at everything. Strange, you're, you're so good at sarcasm. So, yep. But I'm not good at sarcasm. Yeah. What are you laughing at? You, you're so weird. Why am I weird? Everything, you know how you always look at me without saying anything. Is that weird? It is. Damn, that's another one of those stupid rules to remember. Rules. You know rules, like when you're talking face to face. Nope, still don't get it. You know, getting your expression right and stuff. If you don't make it right, or people get mad. You have to think about that? Doesn't everyone? Yeah, kind of. Maybe it's a guy thing, then. What? You, Koji Kitaro, doesn't even have any trouble. Oh my gosh, not sexism talk. Oh, neither does Setsuna. She looks a little bit like a man, though. So, maybe I'm still right. Last I checked, men don't have breasts. I mean, she's like, big and she runs a lot. And the thing about breast is not too far off, Ken. Universal traits of manhood. Is that sarcasm? Yeah. I think I've got it. Anything really stupid you say is sarcasm. Yes. It kind of, actually... Yeah, it actually is how sarcasm works. Good job, Sentry. Hey, Ken. I can't breathe, Sentry. Why is your ceiling lavender? Whoa, that was fast! I sure don't want to wait for the weather to clear up. Doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. I'll be here. All, I'll be here all night if I stay. I guess so. A high about, lasts about two hours. I think I remember most of it, save for a vivid incident when I insisted I could do a backflip. Bruce in my face is enough to convince me never to think so much again. So what did you think of what? The drugs. It was interesting. I feel I felt different, more open. 
but I couldn't think. That kept irritating me. That's the fun of it, though. You don't need to think for a while. No, I'm all about thinking. If I can't do that, I think you said I was like a different person. I guess that's your proof. You can take a bit with you if you like. Yes, here's some drugs. I don't think so. I don't want to risk it without having an expert around. I might come here again, though. Just for the drugs. Sure, sounds good to me. Just give me a heads up. Okay. That must be my cab. So I can't give an umbrella. I would if I owned one. It's five seconds of rain. I don't understand why it bothers you. I don't know. I don't know why you come down. I don't want you to come down with a cold or anything. You're weird. Probably. I'll see you at the next meeting, Brad, anyway. I guess so. Alright, take care then. Alright. Why do people keep saying that? Huh? Take care. It's just a way of saying goodbye. Oh. Take care. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, where did that come from? That is weird. Take care- is that supposed to be like, take care of yourself afterwards? Oh, there's something on the window so it catches my eye. It's just a bird, most likely. God, you're so paranoid, Ken. For east- oh, okay. I'm not going out in this weather. It's probably spares anyways. Oh, time to take a shower, I guess. Filling for your cigarette, it's on the window still. So. Oh, shit. I still don't think that person who came through the door is who you think it is, Ken. Oh, Jesus. Oh, great. Blackout. And there's still someone in my house. A pair- oh, yeah, that's right. I, I forget. Ah, battery's dying. Oh, I, I keep forgetting that I, like, jammed into my eye or something. Or kind of- oh, what the freak? Uh, what? Oh, gosh. Of course it goes out, thanks! Give me an option here. Hit, grab the vase and hit him. Something. What? Everyone is online. What? That that's the end. Oh, hey, gallery. But that's the end of the demo. Okay, well, that took a creepy turn. Someone followed me to a cab named Suitman. I guess I need to go to Battle Network to claim his power chip or whatever it was. And I'm guessing he also broke into my house. And because I don't know who's in there, I can only assume. Dang, this is taking a creepy turn. With all the shipping and stuff, I almost didn't notice that. I also like how you have the IG-6 against this phone here. Or against this window here, looking out at society. It... You can, you can, it can be used as any kind of image. It can be the window to the future, the window to the past, but the future blocking it and trying to go into it. It can really be useful for anything. It really, this is an interesting game already, mainly because of that twist. You don't really expect it to take a creepy twist, even though at the beginning you had that talk about that EMP stuff. I can definitely tell that... That's where this game is going to be going, as the group is also called Human Reignition Project. Trying to reignite humanity from tech- like, trying to break technology and reignite the spark humanity had ever since we discovered fire, I guess. But damn, that was good. So, when this game comes out, alongside But I Love You and also Sucker Fantasy Chapter 2, I will be playing the heck- I will be playing those games, because damn, they're interesting. This has been Wolf and Friends Gaming, and I will see you all later. Bye bye